everyone, it's me, Samantha, and I had a request from Amy and Maggie to do a something makeup-ish. So, um, this look I did not come up with on my own. There's a version that Trisha Paytas did, and there's a version, I don't even remember the other person's name. I did mine differently, and I'll do a close-up so you can see. And you can use, um, I'm going to show you the products I used, but you can use you can find these colors of everything that I use probably through drugstore or LA Colors. Whatever makeup is your preference, you can honestly get this look. Um, first, I'm just going to start with what I did with my face makeup. And I just used my um, Sonia Krusha, whatever the fuck she... I can't say... I still can't say it. But the I only concealed my bad spots with this. And then I just used... Um, we got stuff rolling around some basic cover girl powder then I had put on by Too Faced but you can this is the one I have I know the light I got the lighting better but when I show stuff now um, I had used it's a blush and a bronzer duo but I had used the bronzer and I just went like a little very lightly with a contouring brush just draw my face with that. Then, um, also I wanted Christy to see, um, the, uh, MAC blush. I hope you're, like, seeing it pretty good. And the MAC blush that I use is, um, Lazy Sunday from the, um, Casual Color Collection. I showed it, like, a billion times, but I still have to show it. It's, um this pink and it's also for your lips too and then over that I put max it's discontinued but you can still get it off of like Amazon um blush of youth I put that over it then I had taken my um benefit girl meets pearl to do um a highlight and I just put it very little on my nose area and then just find your cheekbone and I mean, you, you use very little. I've had this for like two years. or When it first came out was when I got it. And I have not used all of it. And I put a little at my Cupid's ball. And just a little bit like right there. Okay, that's all I did with my face. Elf makeup. I seen at Target today. Makes these. Which I want to try out. Okay, and then for my lips. I used, I put this Hip and Happy MAC. I don't know if you can see how the pink color does. It's the MAC Hip and Happy. I put it all over my lips. I didn't just line my lips. I put it everywhere. Then, just in the center of my lips. Here, I will show. Because this is a little lipstick trick I've been talking about. I just put a little, like in the center. And you just do your Cupid's bow. And this is what a nude color. And then over that... Everyone's been talking about um, the Milan Glitzy, and this is in, um, I don't even know what color it says, 07, oh, putting on the glitz, and I got this at Walgreens, and I just put that where I had put the nude lipstick, oh, and the nude lipstick I used was Revlon, it's just a light, not, it looks pink, but I promise you it's just, it's a nude color. Um, and it's, uh, Icy Nude. And I put the Milan over it and focused a little bit more on my Cupid's bow with the Milan Glitzy. And then, um, we will get into the eyes. Since, um, my husband had found this when he was cleaning, um, the Shanty palette, I, I don't know where else you can get it from. I got mine off of, um, Amazon. I think it was less than 20 bucks. It comes with two trays, but I just brought out, I'm just bringing out the one tray. Let me see if I could get the, the one thing I don't like is the trays are hard to get out. Okay. I'll bring out the one tray that I used and show you exactly how I did my eyes. Okay. Go fuck. Okay. First, what I did was, I'll hold it this way. Okay. First, I took this like um no 
I had it the other way was right. <laughs> See, I am an airhead. That's why I put it in my description about me. Um, I took this, like, champagne-y. It might be coming up white, but it's, like, really, like, a champagne color. And I put it from brow bone to my lid. All over. Then I took... And you want to use, I guess, like, depending on what pink you want to use in here, because there's so many... Um, you want to use like a, like a really hot pink. So I had used, I didn't want like to use like this one, but this one doesn't even look pink when I'm showing you. Pointing at the right thing. It looks so light. But anyways, this was the pink. No, that's not the one I used. Shit, my bad. I'm so sorry. I took this pink right here and I put it in my crease and up, let's see, a little bit higher. And then I had taken this purple. See, they don't look like, it looks like blue to me. Then I had taken this purple and I put it over it, but under more so in the crease and just blended up a little bit. Then I took my e.l.f., um, it's the professional blending brush, and then I, like, in a windshield wiper motion, blended that in. Blended, you know, pretty good. Um, the original look has more black to it, and you could add fake lashes. I don't feel like putting fake lashes on, and, um, I didn't want to overdo it with the black, so all I did was I took this black right here. And for all I did was I made like a V shaped. And let me close my eye to do this. I'll do it on this eye. I made like a V shaped and filled it in a little bit. And then I went like up right here and I stopped. And I put it on really lightly. Then I took the same e.l.f. blending brush. And I just blended it and I stopped like right there and I blended it up a little bit into my tear duct to make it darker I did that on both eyes then to me the original look is really black and I wanted it to look a little bit more purpley so the purple color that I had shown you earlier this one right here I had used the blending brush and just light, lightly went over the black with it okay and then I had taken, it broke a little bit, but you can use any white. And I took the white with, I used a different brush, but I just went like right in here with the white and both eyes and then just blended it up a little bit, blended everything in. And I also took the white and went in right here with it right in there and then after I did that I curled my lashes and I had used um Too Faced's Lashgasm and it's got a, a pretty thin brush it works pretty good I like it a lot because you get your lower lashes so I put it on my lashes and simply curled them and I also put the lash chasm on my lower lashes. And then to finish the look, I had just used a basic, my favorite eyeliner that I swear by. Um, the Maybelline New York Expert Wear that comes in the red. I use them in brown sometimes too. And that pretty much just, I didn't fill in my eyebrows because I can't, my makeup area is such a mess. I cannot find my eyebrow palette thingy. Otherwise I would have done my eyebrows, but... Um, pretty much, let me close my eyes again, that's the look and how you can do it, and I'm pretty sure besides using pink and purple, you can use a, an array of other colors. Um, I hope that the, you can see the blush, because I really wanted Christy to see it, and, um, the lip liner too, um, and I didn't do anything with my hair today, but, um. So this is pretty much it. You could use any color. You don't have to use the black if you don't want to. I mean, there's so many different ways you can 
do it. So many different colors, so many different brands you could use. And I'll do a close up. Eyes open, eyes closed. So many different ways you can do it. You could use any blush, any lipstick, however you want to do it. Well, that's my little makeup tutorial. And if anybody else wants to see any more of them, just let me know. And I will be more than happy to do so. Just leave me a message on YouTube or on my Facebook and I'll be more happy to do another tutorial. Um, This one doesn't have a name, just like the Naked Palette one. So I will come up with some name for this. So, Okay, well, thank you guys as always for watching. And I'll see you guys in some other video at some other time. I will, I always say this like 10 times, but I'll see you guys later. And I hope you guys have a good evening. Bye.